In this section, we're going to be doing a little bit of an analysis on a potential real world scenario in which 3D experience could be used. So here we have our team and they are the consumer wind turbine team and they have been tasked to create a consumer grade wind turbine that could be used at an average household. I have put icons next to their general positions in the company. So those in the engineering side of things have the gear icons next to them. Those in the marketing side of things have the bullhorn next to them. And those in the sales side of thing have the dollar sign next to them. So next up, we'll be going uh, over an introduction of each of these uh, members of the team. And then we'll be getting into the process flow using 3D experience. So first up, meet Jill. She is the CAD designer for the team. So she has the 3D experience SolidWorks professional role, which also includes the collaborative business innovator as well as the collaborative industry innovator. With this, she is able to work on concepts with the team and then create a 3D model with the use of SolidWorks. Next up, we have Lucas. He is a mechanical engineer and he is assigned the structural designer role and then also has the collaborative business innovator as well as collaborative industry innovator. You'll notice as I'm going through the team, they all have the collaborative business innovator and collaborative industry innovator, as these are the two main building blocks, especially the collaborative business innovator to the platform itself. With the structural designer role, he's able to take the CAD data from Jill and apply a structural analysis on aspects of the wind turbine that have potential for failure to ensure that they won't fail when in use. Last up for the engineers, we have Mia. She is also a mechanical engineer and has the fluid dynamics role apply, engineer role applied. And then, as I said, she also has the collaborative business innovator and collaborative industry innovator role applied. With the fluid dynamics engineer, she is able to take the CAD data from Mia and apply a fluid flow analysis on it to ensure that it will function properly given typical wind conditions that you would find in a consumer area. Now on to marketing. First up, we have Rio. He is a marketing intern and he is assigned the marketing model creator as well as the collaborative roles. So you may notice that the marketing model creator has quarterly next to it. This is one great thing about the 3D experience role uh, sales side of things is that you can purchase them in a quarterly subscription. So you don't have to buy a full year's subscription worth of a role. Now, one example of where this could be really useful is, for example, an intern. You have an intern come in for a few months. You don't want to pay a very high price for an application that you will only be using for a small portion of the year. This provides a great benefit to having a quarterly subscription. And another example of where this could be useful is if you have a project in which you don't typically use certain tools for, and this, this opens up opportunities that you may not have had before by purchasing uh, app, uh, roles that provide you with the tools that to complete jobs that you may not have been able to do before in the short term. Now with the marketing model creator role, Rhea is able to take the CAD data from Jill and then simplify it down into the 3D experience twin and then create material libraries as well as ambiances to prepare for the next stage of the marketing content creation. Which leads to Anissa. She is the marketing content specialist for the team and she has the marketing experience creator as well as the collaborative roles for the 3D experience platform. With the marketing experience creator, she is able to take the 3D experience twin that Rio has created and then use that into actual renders and create marketing content with that 3D experience twin. Now to the sales team. First, Daphne. She is the sales analyst and then she has the social business analyst role as well as the collaborative roles. With the social business analyst roles, she is able to take data and track any social media trends as well as just general trends to ensure that there is a place for this in the market. And lastly, we have Nathan. Nathan is the sales forecasting analyst for the team, and he has the collaborative forecaster as well as the collaborative roles for the 3D experience platform. With the collaborative forecaster, he is able to enter, verify, and reconcile the sales forecast for the wind turbine itself. So next up, we're going to take a look at the process of the project in the 3D experience with this team. So the project all starts with Jill. Jill is able to take the concepts they created as a team and then create a 3D model based on those concepts. Now, Lucas is able to take those 3D concepts, those 3D files and perform his structural analysis on them. And Mia at the same time is able to take that and perform a fluid flow analysis on that. Now they are able to communicate with Jill and communicate any issues that need to be resolved and changes that need to be made to the CAD model to resolve those issues. 
Once that is completed, that leads to a complete package of engineering data that has all of their influence, influence put into it. Now once that engineering data is done, that can be taken directly from the platform and given to Rio and Anissa. Now Rio is able to create that 3D Experience Twin and that Anissa is able to use the 3D Experience Twin that Rio has just created easily from the 3D Experience platform and use that in her marketing content that she is creating. Now once they are done with that, that then leads to an entire package of both engineering data with a product ready to be made as well as content that is ready to promote that product. This leads to the sales team. The sales team has been busy tracking trends as well as getting the forecast ready to ensure there is a place in the market for the product. Now they have the product ready to be made and uh, content to promote that product. So they are able to go out and start selling. This overall is a streamlined process that has everyone's influence all done on the 3D Experience platform that leads to the consumer grade wind turbine. So collaboration is really a key aspect of this whole thing and it really is easy on the 3D Experience platform, whether it's within your team or across teams throughout your company. So here we can see all the team around the uh, product itself. And in the, in the past, communication is often done through things such as phone calls and emails. Now you could send an email to someone and then they will send an email based on that email to someone else. And it, it can become a long chain of emails. Someone forgets to hit reply all, you're left out. Somebody makes a phone call about one of the emails and then replies. And then now you have a phone call that's not in the records and there's confusion and miscommunications and missed communications. And it's just not a good experience overall. With the 3D Experience platform, you're able to handle all of your communication on that platform. So for example, Jill can communicate directly back and forth with Lucas. She can also communicate directly back and forth with Mia. But not only do you have to stay within your sub team, Lucas can communicate back and forth directly with Anissa, and Mia can communicate back and forth with Rio, and so on and so forth. It can become a entire ring of communication within the entire team involved in the project. And not only can it be a single line of communication, Jill can also communicate with Anissa. She can also communicate with Daphne and Nathan and Rio. So what happens is you end up with an entire web of communication where anybody can communicate with each other, whether it is through direct conversations, group conversations, or communities built on the 3D Experience platform. And this leads to a very smooth, user-friendly experience for the people on the 3D Experience platform.